In this video, I'm gonna show you how I clean up my messy material graphs with the use of named reroute nodes and how I turn them from this to this. So let's do it. The named reroute node was first introduced in Unreal Engine 4.27 and the early access version of Unreal Engine 5. It essentially acts as a portal. Previously, we only had reroutes to help organize the material graph. We can right click and search for reroute. or double click on a wire to add one. But still, the material graph can become quite messy and hard to understand. That's where named reroute nodes are useful. We'll add one over here and another one over here. And they connect the nodes. Let's say I want to connect this to here. Right click and search for named reroute. Add one here. This is the primary node. Whatever we connect to it, its input is passed through to its output as well as the output of the secondary node. So we can add other nodes after it too. Name it whatever you want. I'll name it AO for ambient occlusion. Then go over here, right click and you'll see a named reroute section up here. Open it. And there it is, the AO node we created over there. It's the secondary node I mentioned earlier. Select it and it will be added here. Connect the node like this. Now these are two separate sections but still connected. Another way we could add it is to double click on the wire to add a reroute node. Then right click on the reroute node and select convert to named reroute. Now we'll get these two nodes. I'll name it base color. We can move these nodes like this to organize it better. The great thing is that I can use this named reroute node multiple times. For example, if I add a named reroute for UV size over here, I can connect it to all these textures. If we double click on any of these named reroute nodes, we'll see the nodes that are connected to it. And that's how we can use this node. So here's this material before using named reroutes. The material graph is a mess and wires are all over the place. And here it is after using named reroutes. It's a lot more organized and easier to understand. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's been helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new tutorials I'm planning to put here. Also, join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. The links are in the description. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Now, with all of that being said, I'll see you in the next one.